Hey friends, this is Danielle. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to keep it really, really short and sweet and get straight to the point. Um, by no means, and I am a healthcare provider. Um, as I said before, this is just my opportunity to share my experiences with y'all and be fully transparent. As most of y'all know, I am fully vaccinated. I got the Pfizer vaccine um in march so i was actually fully vaccinated i want to say the second week of april but as of september the 30th i found out that i have contracted covid 19. yes dun 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 even if you get the actual vaccine you can still c contract covid 19. hence is the reason why it's extremely important important to continue to mask um proper um, hand washing and also social distancing. Now I know uh, when I contracted COVID-19 just because I was able to backtrack um, my symptoms from three to four days on which it started. Um, unfortunately, it was a family setting and a family gathering um, that I got it. But once again, it is what it is. Um, I just wanted to be fully transparent with y'all to let y'all know what is going on now once again i am not a medical professional so i cannot tell you to get the vaccine or not but as i mentioned before i do highly encourage it and i still highly encourage it even contracting covid 19 because the symptoms that i do have they are extremely mild y'all and let me just be perfectly honest i don't have to tell y'all this but i am i am an asthmatic and my airways and my lungs are clear as can be do I think that that is because I got the COVID vaccine? Yes, I do. Because COVID vaccine, it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get the actual vaccine. It just means that if you do contract COVID-19, you, your symptoms won't be as severe as they could have been and or you won't die, okay? So my symptoms aren't as severe. The reason why I had even known that I may have COVID or something may have been off because I had lost my sense of taste and smell. Prior to September the 30th, I did um, experience some symptoms as early as September the 28th, which was a Tuesday. Um, and on that Tuesday, it was just more so mild symptoms. As I mentioned before, I thought it was just like my allergies mess messing up and of that nature. I didn't think too much of it, so I took a Benadryl for two days straight. The Benadryl did not help. On the 30th, uh, which was the Thursday, was when I actually lost my sense of taste and smell. And that's why I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Something's not right here. And I also was just so really tired and fatigued and exhausted. And also, um, what else happened? Oh, and also, I didn't have an appetite. Like, right now, I don't have an appetite, but I'm fine. The only symptoms that I'm currently experiencing right now, and it is, oh, let me get my phone because I want to be very fully transparent with y'all. Um, today's date is Sunday, October the 3rd. I hope you can see that. It is October the 3rd right now. Um, like I said, I don't have any severe symptoms. I am an asthmatic, but it has been a total 72 hours since my initial diagnosis of COVID-19. And the only thing that I'm experiencing, if you can hear my voice, if you listen to or watch some of my previous videos, I don't have this raspy, sexy bedroom voice all the time. So I've noticed that my voice has changed a bit. I am a bit congested. Um, so I do have some phlegm that is coming up, but the phlegm that's coming up is clear. So it's not that alarming. Um, the other symptoms that I'm currently experiencing as of Sunday, October the 3rd, is I still don't have a sense of taste or smell like i can't smell nothing y'all even doing my my office visit um that basically led to the determination of my covid um diagnosis is that the nurse practitioner that i saw um had me close my eyes of course and she had held um an alcohol pad under my nose y'all i couldn't smell a thing so i don't got no smell no taste I, I'm not as tired as I was um, days prior, but I don't have any appetite, like, whatsoever. I'm not hungry. I did just force myself um, to eat um, just because, right, I don't want to stop eating, and then that becomes another 
um, thing. I don't want to stop drinking water um, because that may become a, a whole separate issue, which could be dehydration, etc. So I'm basically, I, basically, I am forcing myself to eat and drink. I am very active. I I do have some energy right now, so this is not a problem at all. But as I said before, those are like the the symptoms that I'm experiencing right now, and it has been a total of 72 hours. As always, I'll be fully transparent with y'all and walk y'all along my journey. I was told to isolate myself 10 to 14 days as of Thursday, September the 30th, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also, I don't know if all my little haters out there, I'm also going to figure out a way to just um, include my diagnosis somewhere in the video. Um, yeah, I got to figure out that because that is a HIPAA breach. I don't want y'all all in my medical business like that, but I will be fully transparent. I'm not a liar. I'm, I've been very honest about my journey thus far um, throughout this COVID process and through everything I'm like. Hey friends, I just want to let y'all know that my ring light actually just went out <laughs> and it's not working, but the devil will not steal our joy. I just wanted to come to you guys and let y'all know that I am on day 14 of my isolation period. It is October the 14th and I just wanted to come to you guys to kind of give you the progression of my symptoms. On Thursday, October the 7th, my taste kind of came back, but not um, completely. On Friday, October the 8th, both my sense of smell and my taste was fully back and I was excited. So uh, I was really, really happy that if it, it basically came back. So I only lost my sense of taste and smell for about a week um, and a day. Yeah, because it was like eight days and it came back. Um, I did lose five pounds just because I realized that I'm the type of person that when I eat, I like to utilize all my senses. And so since I um couldn't smell or taste anything i didn't really have an appetite also i just wanted to let you guys know that it, i don't know if you can hear in my voice but i don't have any more congestion i don't have any more um runny nose um i never experienced any shortness of breath throughout this whole period i did experience some um fatigue in the very beginning but i'm totally fine as you guys can see i have some energy um, I was in the house for 14 days. I actually didn't even have this one right here <laughs> near me or even in my room because my um, primary care provider told me not to even be around pets or animals. So I had to close my door um, on him every night. So as y'all can see, he's excited to be back in here with me. <laughs> but yes, I just yeah. wanted to... So yeah, I like, subscribe, and... Uh, share y'all and also i want to know here from y'all do you guys know of anybody that actually had the um vaccine or was fully vaccinated and then got covid i am the only one in my friend group um that actually um had that happen to them so yeah as you guys can see day 14th i'm good and i will see you guys in the next